Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Bilalamin. Wa salatu wa salam. Wa sayyidina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wa man tabihum bi ihsan ila yawm al-deen. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm just going to try to fiddle with this and try to... Okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay. So, alhamdulillah, um, Imam Nawawi, this, uh, this year, alhamdulillah, we're, we're doing a few sections on the collection by Arba'in, a collection of the most, perhaps the most important ahadith which make up what Islam is about. And Imam Nawawi, genius, rahimallah, he compi compiled 42 hadith which basically are the essence of what Islam is about. And alhamdulillah, it's tested, you know, the, time, uh, uh, the test of time, and they're just as relevant as today as they were when they were spoken from the mouth of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ashraful Anbiya. Today, unfortunately, we live in a time where the value of Muslim is close to nothing. It's not sacred at all. And this is externally and also internally. I recall like a, few, a couple of decades ago when this uh, massacre happened in Hebron, where many Muslims were massacred, one of our opponents made a comment. He said that those lives that were lost were not even worth a fingernail. This is the attitude that some of our opponents have. But what perhaps is even more of a travesty is that this is also the attitude we see within ourselves, those who call themselves Muslim. So we have an external and an internal uh, problem in terms of really the value of Muslims. And this hadith, I think, uh, puts a fix to that. There's perhaps no fitting hadith in this hadith regarding the value of Muslims. And of course, there's other many, um, uh, many wonderful blessings, uh, many wonderful lessons and wisdom this hadith typifies. An Abi Huraya radiyahu an qal, qal Rasulullah sallallahu sallam, la tahasadu, wala tanajashu, wala tabagadu, wala tadabaru, wala yabi' ba'dukum ala bayi ba'd, wa kunu ibadallahi ikhwana, Al-Muslimu akhu al-Muslim, la yadlimu, wala yakhdulu, wala yakdibu, wala yahkiru. At-taqwa ha huna wa yushiru ila sadya thalati marrat. Bihisbi mri'im min, min al-shari ay yahkir akhahu al-Muslim. Kullu al-Muslimi ala al-Muslim haram damahu wa malahu wa yardu rabahu al-Muslim. Beautiful hadith. And Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says in another hadith, Bu'ittu bi jama'imi al-kalim. I have been sent with the comprehensive speech. And we see this again and again and again, this beautiful collection of Arba'een, where these hadith typify the comprehensive speech of Rasul Sallallahu Yani, he says a lot in a little. And this is one of the miracles of the Prophet Sallallahu We should try our best to try at least these small, few hadith in number, so big and wide and expansive and powerful. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi says, and this is narrated by Abu Huraira, the most, most prolific narrator. He says, La tahasadu, do not be envious with one another. Wala tanajasu, do not inflate prices. Wala tabakadu, do not hate one another. Wala tadabaru, do not shun one another. Wala yabat ba'dukum ala bayibat. Do not undercut one another in business transactions. Wa kunu ibadullah ikhwana and be. Servants of Allah as brothers, as brethren, as kin. A Muslim is a brother of a Muslim. He does, not, he does not oppress him. He does not shun him. He does not lie to him. He does not uh, hold him in contempt. At-taqwa ha and taqwa is here. And Rasulullah pointed to his chest three times. It is enough of a sin that you hold your own brethren in contempt. Everything of a Muslim is sacred on another Muslim. His wealth, his wealth, his blood, and I'm sorry, his blood, his wealth, and his honor. And this is in Muslim. And here the Prophet just you know just systematically builds up to the whole point of the hadith. A lot has been said, but what is the point of the hadith? And like many a hadith, it goes to the end. The last two lines are the most important parts of the hadith, and I'm going to just cut to the chase, cut to the meat. 
The main message is Kullul Muslimi alal Muslim haram damuhu wa maluhu wa irdu. All things of a Muslim are inviolable. His, his blood, his wealth, and his honor. And the Prophet also says in a very important statement which he mentioned. He says, Inna damaakum wa amwalakum wa aradukum haramun alaykum ka hurmati yomikum hada. Fi shahrikum hada, fi balatim hada, hal Allah balakht. Allah hal balakht. And uh, this is basically, what is this great statement of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? This is his last sermon to the Ummah. This is his last statement, so it is, has a lot of value. Indeed, the Muslim is sacred. You know, a diamond. Who, who of us will devalue a diamond? A diamond has value, right? Even if it drops in a piece of dung, defiled, you will not let that diamond be, you know, discarded. When someone says, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, there is a diamond which becomes instilled in his heart. And it is like a diamond. It does not break. It is sacred. Yes, it may have filth on it. It may not look good, but in the end, it's a diamond. Brothers and sisters, there is Every Muslim has honor and viability, and whether we like it or not, because Allah and His Messenger said so. So, Rasulullah I mean, says in Surah Hujurat, The believers are brethren. Just like echoing this hadith, Kunu ibadullahi ikhwana, be servants of Allah as brothers. It's not, you know, separate yourself from everyone else. No, we are to, in this together and we feed off each other because Allah made us brethren because of that ilm, that, that knowledge that la ilaha illallah. Allah subhanahu wa says, and I believe in Surah Ahzab, He says, وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْذُونَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ بِغَيْرِ مَقْتَسَبُوا فَقَدْ اِحْتَمَلُوا بُحْتَانَ وَإِثْمًا مُبِينًا you're thinking about, you know, hurting someone else who happens to be a Muslim. Think again. Allah Azawajal says, those who hurt, who annoy believing men and women, they have earned, they have earned buhtan and slander, the sin of a slander, and a great clear sin. So be careful. Yes, you may not like them, but they have rights because Allah mentioned this. Let's go back to the beginning of this hadith. And again, I mean, this hadith, the fabric is just all interwoven together to give you, again, that conclusion. How is the Muslim viable? It goes to the beginning of this hadith where Rasulullah says, La tahasadu. Do not envy. I know we're on a time crunch. Envy is a sin, a major sin, but it's a sin which leads to other sins as well. This is the shaitanic quality. Because shaitan had arrogance and he had envy. And in fact, his envy has led him to, to make this oath to lead the children of Adam until the end of time. Envy. Okay? It's based on, it's based on hatred. So envy we have to uh, abstain from it as much as possible. And the, the thing about envy which, is, which makes it dangerous is that we don't even have to do anything. We don't have to say anything, but it can build up in the heart because it's a feeling. It's a feeling. If you have hatred and you want that netma taken away from your brother or sister, beware because if it builds, you are basically just making the scales on the left rise up. Okay? A, 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 a haram feeling to have. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and here this brings light to the importance of ethical business transactions. Ibn Rajab, the most prolific um, mufassir of these hadith, and perhaps the one who made these hadith you know, famous in a sense, he says that najash is not just um, inflating prices. It can mean any unethical business transaction. And this is what we just don't do well as a Muslim ummah. Everywhere, everywhere from the major cities of the Muslim, including here, 
Muslims are involved in unethical business dealings. And these are people who go to the masjid, pray five times a day. These are people who are board members of masajid. I mean, it just, it just doesn't make, it just makes sense. Hypocrisy. You know, this is basically what we expected from the munafiqun during the seerah and whatnot. We have to be mindful because this, these evils come from the heart. So, najash, wala tanajashu. Then, Rasulullah says, goes back echoing to the first part, which is la tahasadu, wala tabagadu. Do not hate one another. And what is envy? It's based on hatred. Again, supporting each other. Beautiful hadith, just everything is just. Uh, works perfectly. Wala tadabaru, do not shun one another. Again, going back to um, reflecting from what happens from hasad and um, hatred and bitterness. Then again, wala yabe ba'dukum ala bayyibad. Ya'ni again now, echoing again business transactions. And this is important because, you know, many times we're just in this phase that, okay, we enter the masjid, alhamdulillah, I'm good. And then you go back to your business, it's not even important why you, you know, unethically and, um, cheat others and whatnot. It doesn't make a difference with Muslim or whatnot. Um, it, it's, it's important. You have, to, you have to be Muslim, you know, entering the masjid and leaving the masjid. Okay, again, echoing the importance of business dealings because this is one cause of disunity in the Muslim And this is also what this hadith is trying to tell us in terms of Important gems, how we can unify the ummah by making sure we you know, don't do these prohibitions. Then, Rasulullah keeps on going, and do not be unjust, do not shun, do not lie to one another, do not um, hold one in contempt, and then, at-taqwa All these prohibitions from hasad, from hatred, from lying and cheating. What, what, what's the cause of this? It's the cause is the heart. And this is another major point of this hadith and many of the hadith of the hadith in this collection. It all comes down to the heart. Okay? Rasulullah said, At-taqwa ha-huna. taqwa is here. It's in the heart. And this is where we have to focus our attention to remove these evils we have. We have them. All of us have them. Some to a lesser degree than others. You know, it's up to us. We need to, again, macroscopically as an ummah and microscopically. These hadith are great in terms of as an ummah, what we can do to fix ourselves, and internally as well. It all adds up. So we need to strive to purify our hearts because these are where these sins lie. And this is basically what prevents us from realizing the true value of what a Muslim is. So, highlights all together. Again, beautiful hadith. Do not hate and do not be honest. Okay? Have a clean heart. It just. Sorry? You said do not be honest. I'm sorry, do not be dishonest. No. <laughs> do not hate and do not be dishonest. Jazakallah khair. That was on purpose. Sorry. Just to see if they're awake. <laughs> Do not hate, do not be dishonest. It all comes down to the heart. Whether you're doing in business and cheating, it's not just about being smart. It comes from the heart. You know, you don't have the ikhlas. You don't have the sincerity. Be servants of Allah as kin. I mean, these days, it's just sad. You can't even forget about saying salam. Even if you say salam, people are going to be like, that brother, he must want something from me. He wants some money. He's probably going to ask me for money, you know? He's, he wants something. I mean, it's just like, just even, you're just, you're just a no-man situation. This is basically suspicion. And Rasulullah says, إِيَّاكَ وَالظَّنَّ وَإِنَّ الظَّنَّ أَقْتَبُ الْحَدِيدِ Beware of suspicion, for suspicion is the most lying of speech. And Rasulullah is telling us, كُونُوا إِبَادُ اللَّهِ إِخْوَانَا Even if the other brother may have suspicion, you have to do your best because this is what Allah and His Messenger um, obligates us. So every Muslim is inviolable. His blood, his wealth, and his honor. Lastly, just, you know, there's alhamdulillah, like, um, just another note. ILF is, um, uh, has like a collection of hadith, great, great commentary outside, excellent deal. Please, 
um, you know, you need to, we need to learn these hadith. These are beautiful hadith. So I encourage you to try to look at and get a copy, inshallah. May Allah the Almighty give us tawfiq to implement the hadith of the Prophet in our lives and spread them. Wa akhru da'wana. Walhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.